but we can be if you want me to. That brings me to today's topic. If I'm booked that day, if I got to stick to the plan. It's your boy Toon, and we reporting live from Penn's Landing, Philadelphia. Well, we ain't live, but, but we can be if you want me to. Yeah, we at Penn's Landing, and I want y'all to see there's actually a carnival behind me. We're on one of the piers, and we're right here next to Delaware River. Yo, we got a carnival, dog. I haven't been to it yet, but it's beautiful, and it's really good for the kids that are here now. If I was a teenager, and this was available, where you think I'll be spending my weekends at? Yo, if you a kid, you better be coming here and chilling here, dog. Like, we got our own carnival, dog. Take advantage. The city of brotherly love starting to get popping, dog. Like, what we becoming, like, AC? Like, like the boardwalk? What we trying to become, like, a baby New York, dog? Like, come on, yo. We baby gap over here? That brings me to today's topic. Philadelphia is forever changing. Beautiful. Beauty is in the eyes of the beholder. Let's not forget that. With that being said, our neighborhood is changing. Your neighborhood, my neighborhood, the world around us is forever changing. And we are blessed to have technology where we are able to capture and document what the environment looked like. We don't have many visuals, photos, yet alone videos of what this block right here on Penn's Landing looked like. Who discovered this hood? William Penn? Who, who? Christopher Columbus? I don't know who, Will Smith? Somebody discovered this hood right here, right? <laughs> we don't have no proof or representation of what this neighborhood looked like before a certain period, before the technological era. So why not go hard and do 30 days straight of Philly hood tours? I'm gonna commit to 30 days straight, y'all. I'm gonna do 30 days, that's it. I'm gonna do it because just like how I did the Bike Life Willie Challenge, Young Wolf, just how I did the Bike Life Willie Challenge, you can do it, Toon, Toon, you can do it, you can do it. Yo, I'm gonna do it, dog. And I know it's gonna be hard, but I'm gonna do it no matter if I got a music video to shoot, if I'm booked that day, if I got several things scheduled, I must still squeeze in a Philadelphia hood tour at minimum 15 minutes. Feel me? I must at least do one every day. I have to. It'll up my productivity and I believe it'll benefit the channel. And I have viewers who are genuinely appreciating it. That's the most beautiful thing. For example, yesterday someone commented who he used to be a lifelong resident of the city and he was from the hood and he was like, thank you. Like he wrote several things and he said, thank you. Like I really appreciate it. Like it makes me feel like, it makes me feel like I missed the hood. Like he missed the hood or whatever, I don't know. But the point is, that's the beauty of it. That's what I'm trying to do. That's what it's designed for. For people who genuinely love the city, genuinely love the architecture, genuinely homesick. People who, you know, want to see how it's changed, you know? That inspired me. That inspired me and reminded me why I started that project. I'm gonna go at it for 30 days straight. I want you guys to stay on top of me. Make sure I'm uploading them Philadelphia hood tours 30 days straight. You feel me? I also want to talk to you about live streams. Yeah! Live streams! Yeah! Yeah! What do you think about live streams? Tell me, let me know. Let me know what you think. Comment below. Should I be doing more live streaming on my channel? Should I really be live streaming with y'all? Would y'all have preferred if this whole entire promotional plugin right here, you see, right here, right here? Follow this guy right here. See it, see it, see it? Look at my hand. Would y'all have preferred if I did this on a YouTube live stream instead? Because I'm able to interact and engage with you guys. Like, what you think? I've been thinking about not only doing the 30 day Philly hood tour challenge, meaning 30 consecutive days upload a philly hood tour i was thinking maybe once twice a week at a live stream that'll help me interact and engage with you guys more you feel me on youtube on youtube though that'd be real dope let me know your thoughts and if i do do it what days of the week should i be doing it should i do it like on a weekday should i be doing like youtube live streams on the weekend what should we talk about on the live streams dog should i have like topics Vato? Vato, tell me tell me yo if you follow me on instagram please i'm sorry Beg my pardon, I apologize, I sincerely apologize. Me and the whole Two Nights Entertainment family apologize from the bottom of my heart. I'm not really that engaged on Instagram like I should be, but I might just have a surprise for y'all coming up soon. I don't know, I don't know, didn't even say that. I take that back, I take that back. You don't take that back, Tune. Ha! Ah, it's a beautiful night, y'all. Let me know your thoughts on the live streaming. Should I live stream on my YouTube more often? Like, I don't know, what should I live stream about? Let me know your thoughts. Comment below, guys. Let me get some of your feedback. And, how about the whole fully 30 day challenge thing, right? I'm crazy, right? They're like, tune, stick to the plan, tune, tune, stick to the plan. But you gotta continue building up endurance. You gotta continue lifting weights. Small growth for two years straight makes a large improvement, if that makes any sense. 
So long as you keep on attacking, every little step count. I'm blessed and appreciative that I'm able to take these little steps and take them all in. I want y'all to have a good night, all right? I'm out here. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling the vibes. I'm feeling the energy. Stay safe, y'all. my content dog pretty pretty please with your sugar on top